Hello crafty friends, I'm very excited to share with you my latest journal. This is a journal that I've done in collaboration with Victoria Designs using their brand new kit that is launching today called My Greenhouse. It's a journal that I've made quite chunky and fat. I love all the little bits spilling off the pages. This is sort of my style, but um, I like all the threads hanging out. And I will show you the kit inside. It's really, really beautiful. And I will put a link in the description below to Victoria Designs Etsy shop. And also there is a 70% discount of this, on this kit for the next three days. So do take advantage of that. Let's have a look inside. There are so many elements to this kit and I've tried to use as many as I can. On the cover, I've done a lot of layering. If you're not new to my channel, you'll know that I love layering. So I've done layer upon layer. I've tr tried to use also some texture and I've made some interactive elements. I've got some of the little tags that can actually pop out of the little pockets here on the cover. Just something a little different and something fun. I've just sewn together the, I've got three signatures and I've put them together with a simple pamphlet stitch and the outside cover I've just used a very plain and neutral tone uh, scrapbook cardstock so that the cover that I've used using the elements from the kit really pops out. When we go inside I have a pocket on the very first page and inside the pocket I have this handmade zine. It's a small zine that I've made and the surprise with this zine is that it's also a specimen window zine. So I've got little windows with some specimens inside. And if you'd like to create a zine like this, I do have a full tutorial of this, which I will put in the description below. All the little elements on here are from the kit. There's butterflies and beautiful flowers. Really soft colors, but really... Um, really wonderful to work with. This is a page from the kit. You can see it's got um, the themes of like cottages, beautiful florals and also a lot of like ticket ephemera. This is just a little note page that I've done. I've just stuck different elements of the paper and stuck that down where you could write your notes. I've added some tabs just to add some interest off the pages. And I've tried to continue the themes through the through the um, journal. So here I've used a striped washi tape, which I think the color suits it and sort of gives it a little bit of a modern feel, although it is actually a vintage journal. And you'll see I continue that through the entire book. Some pages I like to leave a little plain. Some I like to decorate a bit more. I like to balance it out. This is just some stenciling I've done with a little bit of a light green acrylic paint called um, Sage. I will put the details also below in the description. I've just used the stencil just to put a little bit of um, interest onto the page. And then here I have a snippet strip. I just use little bits of the kit and different card stocks, just little pieces that I attach with a sewing machine. I've also got a butterfly that's from the kit. I've used some tool and I also put some fabric or some um, different kinds of elements just to give it interest. I stitch it together and I just glue it with a hot glue on the edge of the page. This is a ruffle that I've made using an old dictionary. I just like to bring the text through as well sometimes and they're a beautiful lilac -y blue color from the kit. Here is a pocket that I've created I've just cut a piece of, um, the kit includes, besides the actual pages for the kit and all the ephemera, it includes plain pages that are just designs, which you can use for anything, and I've decided to use them for pockets. So I've just cut a piece for a pocket, I've added a butterfly from the kit and a little ruffle, and then this is a postcard. You can see all the little details, they're quite faint, but there's beautiful designs, like there's watering cans and little plants and spades, anything you'd really find in a greenhouse. And then I just back these up onto a matching coordinating cardstock just to make them a bit more sturdy and then I pop them in my pockets. And then this is just um, another way that I created tags for this kit is I printed the kits in multiple copies and then the actual junk journal pages are stuck together so there's a back and a front and I cut them into tag shapes and I think those work really well as tags and you could use either side. 
and that's also for the little pockets and then just a plain little craft one just to balance out the busyness and this is just a die cut that I have from um, one of the craft shops here in Australia and I've just popped that in just for a little bit of a plant effect you can see the details although it's faint these beautiful details in the kit and the colors are really gorgeous and what I've done is when I've printed the kit I've then gone and coffee stained it so it's got a beautiful light coffee color I've done the stenciling here again and then another element that I've created for this kit is this little seed packet which is like a shaker box seed packet envelope for this too I have a full tutorial on how to create this I will link that below as well and then for this I've just attached it onto one of the planner pages with one of these really large paper clips another pocket again created the same way as the others just a piece of the page from the kit you can see the beautiful florals there's a lot of colors that you can work with and a lot of different um, ideas so you can make it really vintage you can make it more modern you can actually cut some of these out and use them as different elements which I've done later in the book as well and then I've just stitched around just to give it a bit of interest and stuck that down and then another one of the tags I've created from the pages and then one of these is the ephemera from the kit got even some bright yellow the pink a really gorgeous kit and then I've used a old receipt page number 52 and this is a where I actually just keep record for myself on the journals I've made in the receipt book I'll actually write what the journal was or the theme I've used so this is the 52nd journal that I have made I'm just attaching that with a paper clip and then just a leaf die cut as well just to give it that greenhouse feel beautiful pages these don't need any anything additional they are just gorgeous on their own the beautiful vintage script in the background a darker coral pink in the back you can see the yellow ticket shining through so you could bring that color the cottage the spade a lot of detail and so much to work with beautiful green and this is just the design it's like a, a farm gate or a, a gate to a secret garden really beautiful just some ruffles I do plain tissue ruffles and then I also use some of the kit pages so everything connects through this is a receipt uh, from the kit that I've just stuck down with some washi tape as if it's just sort of been placed into the journal this is a little embellishment cluster or stack you could say that I've made I've used a piece of a dictionary page in the background an element which is like a cottage from the kit the butterflies from the kit and this is a die cut and just a little dictionary word placed there some more stenciling this is the center of the first signature these pink flowers are pretty easy to cut out I've actually cut them out and used them in other parts of the journal there's lots of butterflies too and lots of little stamps that are to use there's again the little cottages flowers another snippet strip another loaded pocket over here so I've created a pocket from one of the pages and then this little corner pocket is part of the ephemera pack that comes with the kit and I've just got a coordinating it's a project life card I just thought the color coordinates well so I'll pop that in just a handmade card from the kit just a plain card and this little tag from the kit also just backed on some cardstock really cute and then I've popped that in there and just attached this on the outside just for something a little different another ruffle this is a piece of old calendar I thought the color suited it well and I think when I think of a greenhouse I think that you're planning dates and stuff on when you're planting stuff so a calendar would work or suited so I've used it for that and then again another little um, 
project life card a day to remember i just find ones that suit the colors a plain one that i've made a big bow with some hessian thread look at those beautiful irises i actually have some growing in my garden at the moment really beautiful lots of detail vivid colors and a lot of pages in the kit there's a lot of pages and a lot of ephemera you can do a lot with this kit another planner page one that's busy a golden key perhaps to the secret gate to the secret garden I'll just show you closer the details you can take it in any direction you want really some more stenciling just some ledger paper with a tab I've also used some planner cardstock that's just scrapbooking cardstock. It matches the color to make this pocket and then a piece of vellum for the front. And then just some plain generic tags that I had that match the color. And then a small green tag, which is from the kit with a little um, clippers. And a Californian garden little tag. I like that there are some planner pages which allows for the journaling and then there's some busy pages which allow for the design. Some tissue paper, this is just made with an old dress pattern. I like the it's vintage colour and it just crumples up really well when you're sewing it. Another pocket with some cardstock and then a journaling card with beautiful white flowers pink one and then just a die cut to add there I really like this page it's got like a, a landscape design so it's got like the driveway the lawn I just like the way it's laid out and the writing it looks like a blueprint of a garden design and the color is really pretty some more stenciling a snippet strip you'll see through the journal I do tend to repeat elements because I like my whole journal to connect and be one um, I personally don't like each page to be very different so I, I repeat elements um, my snippet strips I use a lot and although each one is different and each one has one different element to make it unique I use the snippet strips quite a lot I think I've got about three per signature You don't have to coffee stain the kit if you don't want to you could leave it plain I like to coffee stain it because I wanted to go with the vintage feel but the color would be a little brighter if you didn't uh, mine is obviously dulled down a bit due to the coffee staining another tab a little pink ruffle that's the end of the first signature some gardening gloves and a little torn letter some yellow flowers and just a hint of a butterfly in the background there I love these planner ones that I've got just a little hint of a of writing of a design in the background another pocket this is a vellum pocket I've made with this corner pocket being from the kit I've just sewn around it and stuck it down little tag another project life card this is just pink to carry on the color I've put some of the Hessian uh, it's like a ribbon at the top and a little stamp that's from the kit just to make the tag top a little different and then a tag from the paper that's in the kit Oops, look at those roses the boots beautiful green it was really fun to work with this kit so many ideas were coming to mind I love this one too it's sort of like an advertising page for plants and flowers I love this one a lot probably one of my favorites with a beautiful butterfly in the middle and then the bright yellow flower with a bit of the yellow there really busy but really interesting to look at Just one of the little pieces from the kit again. I've just stuck it down with some washi tape. Another little pocket. Some tags. That's actually a very, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but that's actually a greenhouse. You can see the flowers on the side and the covering at the top. Little 
the tag and then just a plain one I do add along with the ones that are from the kit I do obviously add some plainer ones just to balance everything out I'll just show it up close so you can actually see the detail little plants underneath the dome snippet strip old letters and a butterfly pink ruffle some music paper and then I do enjoy doing these kind of um, layered sections um, this purple is from the kit it's like an old it's like a receipt or an order page and then a little stamp which matches the purple and then just a die cut flower on the top lots of space around here to journal and I love the contrast of the pink and the purple of these two pages and they've got the purple butterfly which matches and it's got little spots and a garden setting this is the center of the book and the middle of the third sorry the middle of the second signature and I've done what I call a jam-packed centerfold it's an idea that I had for some of my earlier journals where I made just po a pocket in the middle of the book and just stuffed it full of tags which is what I try to do here too so there's heaps of tags it's jam-packed with all the different tags and then I'll just use that calendar again the colors I think I've got the yellow the pink and the purple which match really well and then I've just filled it with as many tags as I could another project life card a plain white one a plain cream one one from the kits with the blue flower purple with the big bow and then another project life I tend to put those sort of at the back as a background a crop craft one then I've got a small white envelope which could hold anything we'll pop that inside too just the pink tag that I had in my stash I sort of just go through and see what I can find a grayish one and then a pink one with from the kit with a ribbon that's my jam pack centerfold and there's the purple and pink again the contrasting another probably of my favorite pages um, I just love how they go together and then these flowers I've actually you've seen I've used in other areas where you can actually cut them out just fussy cut them and you can use them elsewhere so what I tend to do is I print tend to print multiple copies of the kit so I've got lots of elements to use just a little decoration that I've just used different strips of paper that I've mach machine stitched with a, a light the same like sort of tan color that I've used and just stuck a little um, die cut there some more stamping snippet strip another page it's sort of in the same way it sort of has been stuck down with a piece of tape and then the spots match the other pages another element like a torn page I've stuck down with the washi tape and a really beautiful dark flower green with a bright yellow just a tag I've attached with the large paper clip and on the other side I've just put a, a leaf die cut beautiful butterflies throughout I really love the butterflies used in this kit because they are really great on the actual pages but also easy to cut out and use as additional um, decoration de sorry decorating elements throughout the journal stamping another pocket I've done this sort of at an angle with the pink at the back a little ruffle with some wording the tags I've made really easy to make just stick the pages together and cut them into a tag shape and then I just round the corners with my corner rounder and I distress the edges with some ink which you don't have to do but a really easy and fun way to make some tags another one here and I've just put a ruffle at the top just stitched it across as a tab just to make that a little different a plain white tag Look at that deep blue flower which balances out with the irises. This just makes you 
think of a secret garden, I think. Just makes you want to go and explore. Well, it does me. <laughs> Ruffles. Beautiful green with a vintage gentleman and lady. It's giving us some flowers. Beautiful white roses. Snippet strip stenciling. That's the end of the second signature. We're on to the last signature. These elements are repeated, which I also like. It makes everything connect. I've just used bits of the kit to make ruffles so everything matches up. Lots of journaling space again. Some gardening gloves. Another pocket. Just using a piece of the kit. A tag. I've just zigzagged around for some interest. Plain tag two. Another slippered strip. Just some flowers on the edge. There's a deep blue again that comes through. Fencing. And then another pocket that I've made with a vellum front. And then a tag from the kit with a little stamp. There's the blue flower again. a little like just a little picture of a garden with a butterfly I made a small teeny tiny tag just to fit inside the vellum pocket then I've popped a die, flower die cut in there too an old encyclopedia page now this I used this element on the cover as well I cut it out and used it as well there I love the colors the orange and the the ready pink really are beautiful con beautifully contrasting There's a paper clip in the picture and I've used a green paper clip to hold this little tiny tag in place. Another pocket using the calendar and then I made a really large tag using some of that background paper. And I think this one has, oops, there it goes, a little bit stuck inside, but that's alright. purple one, a little ruffle just on the top right hand corner, beautiful leaves, you could actually also cut these out and use them for embellishments, snippet strip, stenciling, the middle of the last signature, These corner ones are part of the kit, which I really like. It just adds a lot of interest to your pocket. So it's not just a plain pocket. You can put this corner in. Another little tag. Also from the kit, I've just added a little tab at the top, like an index card. Added a stamp. Did some stitching around it. You can make it your own. It's really inspiring. Little pink butterfly. I love her. Just contrasts so well with the green background. Journaling space again. Another pocket with some tags and more tags. I don't think you'll be short of journaling space in this journal. Another little corner cluster, just some strips of different uh, pieces from the kit. And there is where I cut out those flowers, the fussy cut them easy enough and use those to decorate the cluster. And little yellow flowers peeping from the side. I love the pops of yellow. There's a pop of yellow again. Another cluster with my pink butterfly. And this piece at the back with the little flowers under the little glass dome part of the kit. Just stitched around that and just laid one on top of the other. Another tab. Look at all the different layers on top of each other so much interest so much to look at I love that another little pocket a tag with the lady another pocket <laughs> here's a receipt or a 
order form. Tag, a claim tag. Oh, it's beautiful. Pink flowers. And there's a pop of yellow again, which then balances with the yellow of the butterfly on my snippet strip. And the last page with those yellows again. So that is my journal for Victoria Designs with the brand new kit just launched today called My Greenhouse. Do check below for a link to the Etsy shop. And also, there is a, don't forget, there's a discount of 70% for the next three days. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed the flip through of my journal. Please subscribe to my channel as I would love to see you see more of my videos. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new content. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.